Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might explode from one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. You have another chance. What do you mean? Neuralink is accepting applications for the second participant. Are they? Yep, it says this is our telepathic, telepathy cybernetic brain implant that allows you to control your phone and computer just by thinking. I like telepathy. Yeah. Let's do it right now. I, I mean, up. I signed up for the first time. I'm definitely going to sign up again. Are you kidding me? Why do you want this so much? Why do I want it? Why Did you see the video I about the guy it? playing Command and Conquer? No, I didn't or see. Or whatever the hell it was. Uh, not Command and Conquer. Uh, some game. Uh, no, I didn't see it. I did see the uh, the video of the of the young man who got it, and he was in a wheelchair, and he was talking about how he was able to communicate a lot better, and he was able to just do so much more with the with the uh, help of the adaptation but I, I, why do i want it myself jonas i want it because i feel like it is an inception into the future it's kind of like it's the next step in human evolution is what it comes down to cell phones were a step in human evolution computers are a step in human evolution the internet is a step in human and i feel like the integration between that that flesh and that technology is the next step okay so, so i want to be a part of the next step like i want to be on the right side of here in your history. body is the next step i mean jonas what's the difference between having a cell phone on your hand having a pair of smart glasses on your face that can tell you about the monument you're looking at or having you know, a, a pacemaker. You know, like we're already know. we're already doing we're already doing all of this stuff. We're like the my cell phone never leaves my pocket. It essentially it might as well be attached to me. It might as well just be fused to like the back of my hand. In fact, it'd be easier. So at least I don't lose it. <laughs> Have you ever lost your cell phone? Of course, everybody has. You've lost your cell phone in in your house. No, I mean, have you ever lost it, like, and never found it? No, 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 no. Because, like, you search for that son of a bitch like it's your child. Like, if, even I've left my cell phone at, like, bars before. And I will go back. I will question every patron in the bar about my cell phone until I get it back. We And, and, and that's the thing. It's like I'm saying is that we treat these things with so much reverence already. We never leave home without it. We can hardly, most of you can't go to the bathroom without having your cell phones. So it might as well be a part of you. It's always in your pocket. It's always with you. What What is the difference between your cell phone and your left foot? They both come with you everywhere you go, you know? One so, takes a battery. Yeah, and if I were to lose my left foot, I'm, well, yeah, one takes a battery. If I were to lose my left foot, I'm going to find it. So that's why I'm so in, invested in Neuralink. I feel like it's the next step in human evolution. I want to be a part of that. I, I really even, do. I don't even want Wi-Fi in my refrigerator. I mean, you can be wrong. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, <clears throat> it, it it takes... it. Then you're not, like, human anymore. <laughs> Explain to me how I'm not human anymore. Explain to me how I Part of the human experience is like figuring things out. If you just have like something that's telling you how to do it all the time, then you're not really living. Okay, so when a human discovered uh, aviation, they didn't stop them from being human and make us into birds. It just got us faster. That part. It got us somewhere faster. It got faster. us faster. Got us somewhere faster. So... It got us faster. So when humans determined that the diesel engine in, in, uh, uh, existed and we could make cars, it didn't make us didn't make us into cheetahs. It just got us. Yeah, faster. but that's not put inside us. When we discovered the calculator, it didn't turn us into robots. It just got us faster. When we discovered the internet, it didn't turn us into telepaths that we could communicate with people in all facets of the world, all over the world. It made us faster. None of those are insertables, but keep going. I agree that none of those are insertables insertables but it's the next step name the last time that you walked anywhere i walk. the defense freaking rest I walk when you go outside you get in your car and you go to where you need to go i walked to the you don't tub. use your legs you don't figure it out with your legs to get halfway across town you get in your car you use what you have we use the tools we don't build houses with our hands we use hammers and saws that's what humans are. We use our tools. We incorporate those tools into ourselves. 
We don't figure it out with medication. We use the tools we have. So Neuralink is that next step to me. And I'm not even saying it's that Neuralink is that next step, but like, because I feel like that's branding. What I want to say is the next step is the integration of the science and the technology for ease of access mm. for making us faster insert the technology into my flesh hey, meld please, me with the machine please make me into a cyborg i want to be the first cyborg jonas i you really can't do because homeboy's already the first cyborg i don't know what that means the guy who already has neural like one he's a cyborg i mean technically i guess so i want to be i want to be a cyborg with him i want to be in the first batch <laughs> if he's if he's oh oh zero oh if he's 000. If he's 001 coming off the, I want to be 005. All right, I oh. want to be the first batch of cyborgs off the assembly line. Hook me up. Oh, you want the like the like the twenty dollar bill that serial number is zero 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 one. Exactly. That's what you want to be. Exactly. Hot off the presses. I want to be a collector's item when I when die. somebody's like, here died TNT Dynamite. He's he was a. Zero 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 five off the cyborg line, uh, right on your neck tat that they put <laughs> they put on you. My barcode. Yeah, I don't even look. I don't even want to be Barry Jones. I'm. I hope that when I'm a cyborg, that I am like predominantly displayed in a museum or in like somebody's private collection. Like, oh yes, actually, I have number five of the Neuralink cyborgs to come yeah, off the line. This is a uh, TNT Dynamite. For his name. <laughs> Yeah. Very interesting model. He's a he's a DEI. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. So I don't, dude. I don't the know. First DEI cyborg. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Son of a what? So <laughs> I don't know. Oh I, yeah. my god. Dude, it's because I'm black. <laughs> oh. oh, God. What would be the first thing you would do with it? With what? The, the Neuralink. Well, I mean, it's still in its inception. I understand it's not, like, uh, super good right now. And I, I mean, you can really just, like, move a mouse around on the screen with your mind, but that's still pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what it can do. Um, I imagine and, you, and you have, like, the mo all the functions of your body, too, so it probably wouldn't benefit you very much, right? I mean, look, Jonas, I'm not going to lie. Being able to move a mouse around on the screen while, like, doing something else would be cool. Like, while we were doing this, you could just be like... Yeah, I could. I probably would, too. <laughs> I guarantee you I would. I don't know what it takes, but, yeah, I probably would. I don't know. I feel like that. I feel like it's cool. I feel like it is early, um... And, and why I, I feel like I sound like I'm just like ready to jump. Like as soon as if Elon were to call me right now, I'll be like, yes, I'm calling off work. Yes, I'm PTO. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Take some PTO because I'm going to get Neuralink. I, I will say is that I would be apprehensive because I know it's in its infancy. So like, yeah, but yeah, you're like, I want Neuralink when it's like a final product, not when it's like alpha test. Too. Yeah, I mean, it worked good for the guy who did not have any of his facilities. Like he was, you know, he was definitely in need of it and he, he sounds like he's very happy with i mean it, it, that little interview i saw it, like said, he said it improved his quality of life yeah because i mean he couldn't even like, at least now he can play a computer game yeah like if i had lost all use of all of my limbs and like all of a sudden i could like at least like play like a computer game now play a like computer game he can go online he can talk to his family again like you know communicating with people yeah, I mean, look, for people who definitely, truly need it, it's a beautiful thing. For me, I just want to be a cyborg. <laughs> I just want to be able to tell Alexa what to play with my mind. Just, I, you're just like, Alexa, play some more Billy Ray Cyrus, and she would just know. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> like, I would love to get the upgraded pack. I'm hoping that if I get in and it's Inception, maybe I can get the upgraded package where I can, like, control, like, you know, billboards or stoplights or something oh, you can like create a woman in with your mind like in weird science i don't know why you turned me into a <laughs> uh a sexual deviant i said i wanted to change stoplights from red to green and you were like yeah don't you want to create a virtual woman in your mind so that you can fornicate with her what? i did not say that i mean that's kind of like what you're insinuating science. Right. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're insinuating that I should have sex with an imaginary woman that I've made up in my <laughs> my DEI neural like mind. Is that any different than any day now? 
I mean, you got a point. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Uh, for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.